Angular is a JavaScript framework for building applications across the web, desktop, and even native mobile apps. Hmm. In this open source craft episode, we're going to be taking a look under the covers because I want to show you some of the syntax that really blew my mind when I first started learning it. You got it. The version of Angular you're about to see used to be called Angular 2, but recently they dropped the 2 and now it's just called Angular. Huh? They're up to version like 4. All previous versions of Angular, like 1.0, are now called Angular JS, and the differences between the two are pretty big. Okay. As you may know, the web applications you create with Angular are known as single page applications. Unlike the typical web applications where you click and wait for the next page to load, an Angular app gives you an experience similar to a desktop or mobile app where it feels like the application resides on a single page. Inside an Angular web app, our site is divided up into pieces called components. If we look inside one of these components, we'll see it's made up of three parts. The first is the component template, containing HTML, which gets rendered onto the page. Come on! Next is the class, which contains properties and methods, which are pulled into the template and then rendered onto the page. Wow. The last is metadata which tells Angular that this class and template make up our component. Inside this metadata can be something called a selector. The selector is a custom HTML tag, also known as a directive, that can be used to tell our Angular app where to load which components onto our page. This is just one way Angular makes our HTML more expressive. It also powers up our HTML with things like if conditions, for loops, and data binding, which I've got to show you. Yes! When I want to print out a component property into my HTML, I can bind this data into the page using an expression. Now whenever this value gets updated inside the component, it's automatically updated into the template. However, when I want to bind to any HTML element's attribute, like source, all I have to do is wrap that element in square brackets, like so. This works with almost any standard HTML element attribute. When it comes to listening for events like mouse clicks or mouse hover events, like on this image, I simply write the name of the DOM event I want to listen for surrounded by parentheses. So now when the mouse hovers over this image, the mouse hover method gets called inside the class file. This works with any standard DOM event. I just wrap it in parentheses. Just another example of how Angular enhances our HTML. Cool. Lastly, it's worth mentioning that most Angular developers aren't coding in JavaScript, they're coding in TypeScript. Huh? This is Microsoft's superset of JavaScript, which allows you to use new features of JavaScript that are not yet supported in modern browsers. Plus, it adds powerful type checking and object-oriented features. What this means is that back on the server before your Angular app is sent into the browser, the TypeScript code you wrote is changed or transpiled into JavaScript code that modern browsers can understand. It's this code which will be sent when someone requests your web page. So there's your quick tour of Angular 2, except without the 2. Forget that I said 2. Okay. Um, if you want to learn more on the subject, check out the documentation on the official website, or even if you want more video, um, I happen to have created a code school course on the subject you can check out. Pluralsight also has some great courses on the subject as well. Check out the links in the show notes. Please also check out my Mastodon social network video if you haven't yet. And if you want more of these videos, please do subscribe on YouTube so I know you're watching. And lastly, there's a lot of arguments for and against Angular, a lot of passionate people out there, so I decided to create a dramatization with my kids for your enjoyment. Angular package size is like, oh my gosh, it's huge. Yeah, but with Angular 4.1, they're making it smaller. And I don't want to write in TypeScript. You technically don't have to. But it's all written in TypeScript. Beautiful object-oriented TypeScript. Angular HTML isn't even valid HTML. But it's beautiful HTML. And it takes forever to load your code. Beautiful, beautiful code. I give up.